options. The mission is complete. Good work. Right, good afternoon people, welcome back, how you're doing? So we're back on a new Call of Duty MW3 Warzone 3 video. Just gonna have a little chit chat, it's a bit of double MP gameplay in the background. Talking about Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3, Warzone. The future of Warzone going into Black Ops 6. The major news that's going around the leaks today, I mine is. The usual stuff. Uh, Black Ops 6 is going to be run on the same engine for MW2 and MW3, so it's a three-year cycle on the current engine. So again, that's how data miners are getting pretty much all the info for the next game is because it's, it's on the engine. It's, it's in the game files, and again, if you're on PC, you can read game files. Everybody knows this. Season 4 Reloaded has been up for about a week, and again, can I say I'm bored, bored of it? Uh, I've done the, I've done the DLC weapons, the shotgun and the sledgehammer for camos, uh, shotgun Borealis Interstellar, sledgehammer Borealis, working on Gilded at the moment and Interstellar camo, but Taking a bit of a break, like I'm just sick of the player base once again. So all you players out there are just ruining it, falsely spam reporting people because they're better than you. Uh, racially abusing people on the mics because you're getting outgunned so easy. It happened to me the other night when I was using the sledgehammer, I was like, well, cheers. I'm not going to say in the, this video what I said to him because it was a bit below the belt and it's truthful. But if you've got half a brain, you'll know what I said. But no, season four was okay. Season four reloaded. Sounded great, but again, it's just the player base. The, uh, the map is alright, the map's not too bad. I haven't played really big map Warzone yet. Just been slowly staying away, you know. Just because I'm sick of it. It is good, but again, it's just mechanics like multiplayer. But we all know we've seen a lot of leaks, a lot of rumours going around for season events coming up. Apparently, it's not confirmed 100%, but there's supposed to be a Deadpool Wolverine event crossover or something coming in the game. Possibly, if that's true, Season 5 or Season 5 Reloaded. Obviously, you're going to have your overpriced rip-off bundles, 2,400 card points or 3,000 card points. It's around £20 UK currency if you're using a gift card on, say, Steam, PlayStation, Xbox, if you're not using your credit card. If you're using any sort of credit card transaction, it's £16.79, pence normally UK currency. But, you know, but the 3,000 card point bundles is around 30 quid, and that's just a daylight robbery. Like, especially when the game is still broken, it's still bugged, glitched. Highly mechanic. But now, going back to Season 4 Reloaded first, first day of the... Uh, of the update, we saw the uh, Twitter no lives who uh, obviously hack the game, unlocker tools, cheat the law, warzone players that need attention has been obviously leaking fresh account with them leaking uh, fresh accounts level ones with uh, unlocker tool new bundles that's not even in the game yet. It's in the game files, but you know. There's supposed to be a new CDL, one coming out, I've already seen it in the game for the past week and a half, two weeks. Same with a couple of others, it's just pointless at this stage, it's even being a thing, 
you know, this the sword of dropping at launch to be fair, but again, it's never gonna change. Multiplayer maps, it's not too bad. Um, obviously we know the player base situation, the spam force reports. That's why the anti-cheat doesn't work, because it's it's relying on account scans and again if your account is fresh level one or level say 50 it's going to put you in a ban system straight away because it's it, it detects your recent transaction history your recent game history and stuff like that so again my chris account my ch701rs account i've had it since advanced warfare ps4 that's how long i've had that account so, Advanced Warfare 2 now. I used to have an old account where I used to play the original CODs on. You know, I fancy making a new gamer account. Since Advanced Warfare PS4 all the way to now, that's been my account. So, it's been a lot of bundles paid for, a lot of games been paid for on that account. And a lot of legit gameplay, so again. If I'm hacking like you, a lot of people saying, including people on my friends list because they can't play COD properly, because they are terrible, you know who you are, you're just a box, zero KD players. Friendly UAV online. If I was really hacking, you know, wars, war hacks, aimbot, all the above, I wouldn't have my account at all, I'll be permanently banned, I wouldn't be playing COD. But guess what, I'm legit, so get better uh, going into the future of Warzone so we're going to be talking uh, late 2024 to February 2025 so we're, when Warzone crosses over to Black Ops 6 the, um, the Warzone map originally for Black Ops 6 was apparently called Avalon that is not rumoured to start the integration of Warzone for Black Ops 6. That apparently has been postponed to the fall of 2025, so uh, near enough September, October of next year. We are rumoured to get Vedant back in. Because uh, Call of Duty developers Activision I've been literally looking at first-person shooter games like Fortnite, Apex Legends, I need mags. Valorant, you know. And especially Fortnite when we're getting it, they've had what's reloaded or whatever it's called, that new game mode they brought in. It's got, what, 27 million players playing it or whatever the numbers are. So again, Activision, Call of Duty developers have had a meeting and they'll be like, well, how do we get our player base up for Black Ops 6? And how do we make that cheddar, you know, that money? From October to February, you know, how are we going to make millions and billions of dollars in that time frame? We'll bring the dance back then it's going to be stale. The game is going to be stale. From the launch of Black Ops 6 to the launch of the integration of Warzone. This is not confirmed, so again, it's all data miners, it's all leaks because the game files and stuff like that. So again, if it is true, if it is the dance, it's going to be like Warzone 3. Pretty stale. Big map at the moment has got nothing really major coming to it to season five. Apparently, season five you're getting uh, competitive, um, like rank play. But again, we've still got to see from Call of Duty, Activision, stuff like that. Uh, going into obviously season five guns, maps. The events, etc., etc., you know, but going into Black Ops 6, it's sounding really good. We've got what 16 new multiplayer maps at launch, brand new maps, no remakes. 
we've got brand new weaponry that's never been in a Call of Duty franchise before, so again. New assault rifles, new SMGs, new snipers, new battle rifles, new marksman rifles, shotguns, pistols, melee weapons, etc. You know. Obviously you're going to get your remake maps in obviously the updates to season 1 to season 5. Um, reloaded, stuff like that. Weaponry, obviously you'll get your fan favourites like the Galil. Your VMPs, your... Uh, Locuses, your whatever you know, your fan favorite guns. But me, I'll be playing for obviously the camo grind and just having fun. Some games uploading content, the usual. Will I be set playing solo? 100%. Because again, I'm not playing with boosters on my friends list. Whose uh, only goal is to falsely report people because it is a big problem because they can't get good at a game, but they're on it. A lot longer than I am daily. But no, it's going to be fun, to be honest. Like, we're getting zombies back to the original zombies. None of this uh, NW3 rubbish with its like a DMZ based with a load of players that can't do anything in, in the games because they can't play. And that's why there's so many bugs and crashes with this zombies in Modern Warfare 3 because it's a server-based. Going back to ground-based zombies, I'm looking forward to it. Obviously multiplayer. The integration with Warzone, but again, if it's going to be the dance, it's going to be a bit stale. So. We need new content. We need new maps. We need new resurgent maps. We, need, we just need new content. That's how you're going to get your numbers up. You ain't going to get your numbers up by bringing back an old favourite map that people didn't like. Because you got to think, we had Verdance, the original map in Warzone 1, and we had Verdance uh, 1984, whatever it's called, through... Uh, was it Cold War? So, when we had the Die Art spin-off uh, event. But no, season five, it's going to be, what, two or three weeks away. New guns, weaponry, maps. The events, spin-offs, whatever. Camo grinds, Interstellar, Borealis. I am doing prestige camos, but again, it's such a grind to do prestige camos, as you all know. 150,000 XP for the first one. And it's 200,000 XP for Obsidian. So if you're doing per category gun, that's 300,000 weapon XP for these two camos altogether. Or 350,000, whatever it is. You wait to season 5 releases, it's either going to be 250,000 XP or 300,000 XP for the next camo per gun. It's going to be wild. But no, there is a big... I wanted to address this as well, why the anti-cheat does not work. It's because it's relying on players falsely reporting. And when I say people's falsely reporting, it's, it's every, every time you hop on. At the minute in Warzone, the meta is thermal scopes on guns. So, Car 98, thermal. The new SMG, thermal. And there's currently the Fallout Thunder that's brought in a new thermal scope for the SMG that's uh, green. And it shows up uh, players who's got cold blooded on. So, if you've got cold blooded on and you're in smoke, you're still being tracked by the uh, thermal scope. People are not hacking. They're just using the um, pay to win bundles. What's. They put in the game for you players. But again, people just can't wake up, they can't get good. And when you actually do play hackers, none of you do play hackers, but when you do run into a hacker, nothing happens because the game is relying on them last tracking uh, reports you've done and they're mostly 99.9% .9 fake spam reports. But again, transaction history on your accounts, that's what they're scanning for as well, so again. 
We're not being sp uh, spam reported, we've been putting a 200 millisec millisecond ping lobby. They're scanning my account, my account history, how much have I paid by bundles, blah 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 blah. So that's how the system works, but yet again, leave in the comments what you think. Uh, cheat your like, comment, subscribe, I'll see you on the new video soon. Season 5, all the other stuff. Enjoy your day, see you later. Good talk, take it easy. Bye bye for now.